Gon and his friends have a deadly encounter with Yuppie, and the Chimera Ant King prepares for his ultimate battle in my review of Hunter x Hunter episode 112. As predicted, this was a kick-ass episode. There was a lot of really crazy shit going on in this one, and hilariously, it all really took place within the span of maybe a couple of seconds. We are going on planet Namek clock here, guys. Everything's about to explode. It's gonna be five minutes, but it might take five hours. I don't really have a problem with narration and explaining things in excruciating detail. However, it's just kind of a jarring change from the rest of the series, the way it's been. However, I'm willing to accept it because everything that's going on in this episode is really cool. When they first encounter Yuppie in this episode, he goes through a massive transformation. His eyes turn red, he gets really sharp teeth, and he has all of these arms just erupt from his body. And this is where we actually learn that he's very different from the other royal guards. Apparently, his chimera ant form is made up of magical beasts. And I'm guessing that's like unicorns and fucking dragons and Narnia shit. Yuppie's face also goes through a massive transformation where his head sort of implodes on itself and then explodes out and it's all grotesque and awesome and it's covered in eyeballs and he has this giant mouth filled with razor sharp teeth and everybody is freaked the hell out pissing their pants and then things get immediately worse when all of a sudden those dragon light arrows just start erupting down towards him and this is when everything really starts to go into slow motion and everything goes into like massive narration mode here but it is important so pay attention but still all the action here is really cool and you can see that like the stakes have truly been raised and even though everything's going completely like to shit Everybody's still sort of keeping their composure a little bit. Knuckle and Melioron try to help out in the battle, and because they're invisible, Yuppie can't see them, and this just causes him to get even more angry and go on a rampage. Another scene of the episode I really enjoyed was Pito when she was actually landing on the ground. She doesn't have wings like the other Chimera Ants, so she can't fly, so she has to come up with this other method in order to get to the castle as fast as possible. So she pumps up her thighs as much as possible. She basically gives herself thunder thighs. And she lands on the ground, and she uses this to propel herself forward like a freaking rocket. This is really awesome, and I would actually love to see this in battle, because a lot of these guys, we really haven't seen them fight yet. Yuppie, you know, we've seen him sort of go, like, on a Hulk rampage in this episode, but we really haven't seen them go, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody yet. As Pito is making her way to the castle, she notices that the king is with a wounded person, and this is Komugi. She has been hurt somehow. I'm guessing that one of the arrows hit her or something exploded nearby because a lot of shit's been going on here. And obviously this is going to cause the Chimera Ant King to go batshit insane. And what's really crazy about this scene is just how incredibly tense it is. Like, as soon as Pito walks into this room, not only is the Chimera Ant King and Komugi there, who's really, really injured, but right behind him are Zeno Zoldic and frickin' Chairman Netero, and they're just standing there in awe of what's going on. They don't really know if they should attack yet, because he's acting like a human. He's not acting like a freakish mutation, and he's sort of, like, treating this human like she's something important, and because of that, they're sort of holding back and showing a little bit of respect, but they're still going to fight. I actually love how much the Chimera Ant King doesn't show any emotion here. I expected him to go sort of crazy. But honestly, he's keeping his cool, and he's really, really collected. And in fact, he casually walks past Zeno and the chairman, and that completely freaks them out, as they're going to go find someplace else to fight. And whoo, that's going to be fun. But that's pretty much the end of this episode, which was really tense and really awesome. And like I said, it's funny because it really only took place within the span of like maybe a minute at best. You know, with that stuff that was happening at the very end, obviously that took up the most time. And uh, I'm still got to get used to this whole narration thing. It's just, you know, they didn't do it too much in the beginning of the series. And these last two episodes have just been dominated by it. But I've been told that that's the way it is in the manga. So that's the way it's going to be in the anime. Other things that made this episode good was just the artwork, the animation, the music. There were like little things, you know. Like there was the scene where when Pito was falling out of the sky, you could see the reflection of the light arrows in her eyes. Like just little things like that I really appreciate. And all of the freaky like transformation moments from uh, Yuppie like when his face was like exploding out totally reminded me of John Carpenter's The Thing. So this was just another really fun episode but I'm going to drop it down to a 9 because I felt it could have moved a little bit quicker but still I was fully entertained by it and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. Hopefully when they get to more of the actual battles the pacing will pick up just a little bit more and they won't spend half the episode hanging out on a staircase. 
The Chimera Ant arc is finally getting ready to go into full swing, and this episode definitely demonstrated that. But how did you guys feel about this week's episode? If you had a chance, now is your turn to let me know what you thought about it. You can tell me about your favorite moments, maybe some stuff you didn't care to see. What fights do you want to see in the future of the series? Remember, guys, before you leave, make sure and hit that like button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And you can check out some of the other videos up top, like the very first Naruto movie review that me and Christian worked on, Ninja Clash in the Land of Snow. It's pretty awesome. And remember to subscribe if you have not already. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out.